Hi, it's Pete Wolstab from Excellent Edges. We are going to be covering what's in a first edge starter pack uh, or what should you be using when you're starting out hairdressing. For us, we've released a, a model and it's called the First Edge Kit here, which is actually made from all of our 440B material. Um, it's actually a great quality scissor. Uh, the difference mainly with these is they have been They've got a matte satin finish on it, so they haven't been polished as highly, so it's saving a lot of work in the labor. That's where it's cutting the cost for you as a hairdresser. It's important at the start to make sure you've got the correct gear. A lot of the time, people say, oh, when you're starting out, don't worry about a good quality scissor. Um, you just, you're gonna drop it, you're gonna ruin it. You just, just get something basic and $20 and it'll be fine. Uh, can I tell you from experience, it's probably the worst thing you can do because when you're using a really poor quality scissor, what you're actually doing is you start developing bad habits. So to make this scissor actually cut hair when it's not that great is you've got to push with your thumb, pull back with your hand. And what you start doing is because it's pushing the hair out, you start developing a habit where you start moving your whole shoulder and arm to pull back to actually make a cut. This is probably a really, really bad technique to start to learn. And as we know with habits, like any habit, it's very, very hard to break. So my recommendation is actually start with a good pair of scissors and you don't have to spend the world on this, but just make sure you've bought smart. I'd always start with a bevel edge scissor. This one here is one of the first edge ones. It's a six and a half at the minute. I've gone a little bit big with this, but you can choose that in a six and a half or a 5.8 inch. Um, this one in particular has a bevel. You can get it in a serration if you want. What the serration will do is it has tiny little teeth the whole way along the blade. So what it does is it stops the hair moving. Personally, I think you can get away with a bevel on this one as well, but each to their own if you want to start with that. Um, and you can also introduce a third scissor into the kit. So if you have a larger scissor that you do for more of your blunt work, a smaller version of that, that you do all your point cutting and your detail work and obviously a texturizer with a jewel tang to get you used to that texturizer as well. So a three pair kit at the start, or you can just go two. Um, not fussed with that, but it's just a matter of making sure that you're buying the stuff correctly at the time. Use a bevel. Obviously, as our hairdressing skills develop, uh, we will probably be moving in and adding more scissors into that kit as we go along. But it's really important, start with this and then work out what sort of hairdresser you're gonna be. You know, whether whether you wanna do slicing, whether you're gonna be a very, very Sassoon's precision cutter. Where your hairdressing future takes you um, will probably mean that your scissors will actually, you know, encompass or work parallel with that. So it will change you know, as your style of hairdressing will actually change and develop as well. The scissor kit, obviously it comes in one of our metal cases as well. You can have the two scissors or you can have the three if you wish, um, one of them being a serration or not. And the texturizer comes in a metal case. Very important. You get the oil. These, uh, these little oils here, a um, little clicker at the back for the oil to come in, brush it along your scissor make sure you look after them because obviously if you look after your scissors, they will look after you. Um, also in the kit, what do we get here? Oh, we get a, like a, a scissor sticker. Scissor. You get a pack of Band-Aids because we all know that when you start out here, you are going to cut yourself. So keep these handy. Um, you can always reorder more if you need. You've got a scissor care and maintenance booklet. These will show you little important steps like how to keep your scissors tensioned, how to clean them, how to oil them, our warranty, all the fine print. Not that interesting, that bit, but just make sure you look after them. Um, obviously, we have a manufacturing warranty for the lifetime of our scissors on our blades because we stand by them and back them. They don't cover things like dropping or people not looking after them. So very important. A chamois as well, make sure you keep them clean, oiled, using them. We guarantee you that it is the best way to start hairdressing. Learn the techniques and then as you develop, we'll start working on more ideas for kits. That's it for this little video. We hope you liked it. Make sure you like us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we will be dropping many, many more videos about this. Click on the little bell icon. That means as soon as they come up, you'll know about it first. For now, adios.